Fortress Chicago is nearly complete. At McCormick Place, site of next week's NATO summit, this nation's largest convention center is becoming its most impregnable stronghold, a bastion on Lake Michigan of stone, glass, and steel mesh. Nearby storefronts are boarded up as if for a hurricane, but this storm is man-made. We're hoping it'll be a non-event, but we just want to be prepared in case something happens. The world will be watching Sunday afternoon when the protesters' permit expires. If things go wrong then, the Secret Service, the FBI, Chicago Police, and dozens of other agencies will be watching it here at the Multi-Agency Communications Center at an undisclosed location somewhere in suburban Chicago. Terrorist act uh, is probably our biggest concern. There's a lot at stake. President Obama handpicked Chicago, his hometown. Mayor Rahm Emanuel wants to avoid reliving 1968 and the brutal crackdown here that filled the streets outside the Democratic National Convention with blood and brutality. Inside, more than 60 heads of state will gather to talk about the future of Afghanistan and missile defense. Outside, tens of thousands of protesters are seizing a megaphone to the world. Hi, this is Rachel with Occupy. There is the Occupy movement that began on Wall Street. NATO is war for profit. NATO is the military wing of the global 1%. There are Afghan war veterans like Alejandro Villatoro who plan to return their medals in a mass protest. We have completely lost the trust of the Afghan people at this point. Uh, we had failed our mission and uh, this is the reason why I'm returning uh, my medal uh, during the NATO summit here in Chicago. And there is the self-described independent media covering the protest and part of it. We want to know a lot, you know, why people are out there in the first place, because we think that helps keep the, the focus not on the protest itself, um, but on the issue that's driving the protest. Then there is the Black Bloc, an anarchist minority that turned Seattle's 1999 World Trade Organization meetings into a window-bashing referendum on corporate America. The Secret Service has its command center. The protesters have theirs. NATO has its press briefings. The demonstrators have Twitter. Can you handle you Penciling something in. Yeah, I think that's okay. And an army of artists hoping to paint history. John Hendren, Al Jazeera, Chicago.